Now this is a video that shows you how the system works. Uh, when you get a sore throat, which is uh, indicated here uh, in red, what that's again a manifestation of, as Mechnikov told us, a protective response, not a destructive response. So here you see um, uh, bacteria uh, lining the surface of your throat uh, following um, uh, an infection, and these bacteria are putting off uh, a variety of uh, protein antigens that are associated uh, with, uh, with these bacteria. So not only have you generated an innate immune response, uh, but now these uh, bacterial specific antigens uh, are being released. And what happens to them is that they begin to drain into the intercellular spaces that one finds uh, in all of your tissues referred to as the lymph. The lymph drains into the lymphatics, uh, which then comes into these uh, nodes, or uh, specifically lymph nodes, uh, that monitor every uh, uh, 24 hours a day uh, what proteins, what antigens, what uh, uh, bacteria are, uh, have entered into the lymph. So here you see our bacterial protein entering into the lymph node, and what they encounter here are the wide array of lymphocytes and other cells, um, and here you can see them in a higher uh, magnification. And as our bacterial-derived proteins come in, uh, they filter through these uh, millions or billions of cells, as, um, as you can imagine. Uh, and cells that, uh, are, that are B cells that may detect uh, a component of that antigen um, will bind to it uh, based on these antibody molecules or via these antibody molecules that are intercalated as membrane proteins on the surface of these um, early B cells, shown here, uh, clicking on. And this will then uh, hit onto another uh, B cell receptor and a third and a fourth uh, until enough of them uh, come together to actually generate a signal uh, uh, to the B cell which uh, says that I have now detected the antigen I was born to detect uh, and as a result uh, it's now time to start making more of myself. Um, so these B cells become very active uh, and um, begin uh, to uh, develop and, and divide um, the affinity that they have um, uh, for uh, the individual antigens, in essence, uh, increases uh, as B cells with increasingly large affinities, increasingly great affinities for antigens, uh, compete with each other uh, to bind more and more. So here you see a clone of B cells uh, that um, gives rise um, to um, a, a larger number of, of itself. Uh, and then, uh, as you can see here, uh, in this representation, uh, antibody molecules uh, begin to be released uh, into the extracellular space. And here's just an indication of the secreted, uh, secretory event that takes place, uh, very similar to that which is described in a, a, another of uh, the odd bio uh, um, science seminar series uh, 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 given by Randy Sheckman. Now here the antibody molecules, which is this stage in development, are actually pentamers uh, coming back, uh, homing to the bacteria, coating them uh, with uh, antibody molecules, recruiting complement, and as shown here, also recruiting macrophages, which again, just as Mechnikov has already shown us, uh, will come and eat those bacteria that are coated with antibody, uh, taking them up by phagocytosis, uh, killing them, um, and degrading them. 